Here is a practice test problem on application of derivatives. Question here is, what is the maximum volume of a right cylinder that has a surface area of 384 pi centimeter square? So let's make one cylinder and then figure out the solution, right, after writing an equation. So let's say this is our cylinder. Now in this cylinder, let the radius be r. So it's good to define the, the variables, right? And the height be, so this is our height of h, and let's say this radius is r, right? In that case, what is the surface area of this cylinder? Surface area is area of these two surfaces, right? So which we are taking the bottom, these two surfaces, and the lateral area, correct? That's the surface area. So we can write surface area of our cylinder is pi r square plus pi r square, which is 2 pi r square plus the lateral area. Circumference is 2 pi r multiplied by height. So it is 2 pi r h. So that is the surface area. Now, the so surface area is given to us is 384. Now this will help us to isolate or to relate the two variables. In this equation, as you can note, we have two variables. So whenever we are working with the maximum minimum cases, as you have seen, we need to somehow relate the two variables and this data, 384 is the surface area, helps us to do so. So let's write h in terms of r using 384 as the surface area. So we can just say this is equals to 384. Now from here, we can find what h is. So h is equals to 384 minus 2 pi r square divided by 2 pi r. So it's two, 384 pi, I forgot this. Let's put this pi. Okay, so that is what h is. Now let's simplify this. So first term, 384 divided by 2 pi divided by pi will be 1. So we get 3 divided by 2 is 1. 18 goes 9 times, 192. Pi cancels and we get 192 over r in this case. Now for this one, if I divide 2 pi r square by 2 pi r, I'm left with r. So h is equal to 192 divided by r minus r. So that is how h and r are related. Now we need to maximize volume of this right cylinder. So the formula for volume is area of the base into height, that is pi r square h. Now we know what h is in terms of r, so we can always use that part. So pi r square and h is 192 over r minus r. So that is what h is. So we got one equation of volume, which is in terms of r. So we can say volume in terms of r as a function of r is pi r squared, let's open the bracket, it's easier. So when you open the brackets, one of the r gets cancelled, so we get 192 pi r minus pi r cube, that's what we get. Now we can differentiate this equation with respect to r. So when you show dv over dr, what do you get? You get 192 pi from the first term, and here you get 3 times pi r square, right? Now these can be combined. We can take 3 pi common. So when I take 3 pi common, divide 192 by 3, what do you get? 192 divided by 3 gives me 64. So I get 64 here minus r square. So that is the derivative for us. So now we will we have to find the maximum volume. To find the maximum volume, we'll find critical point, right? So critical point is when dv over dr is equal to zero, right? So we'll solve for dv equals to dr and see what do we get. Now from this equation, dv over dr is actually three pi. So dv over dr for us is three pi within bracket 64 minus r square. So for this to be 0, 
64 minus r square should be 0, right? So we'll equate 64 minus r square equals to 0, and that gives us r equals to 8. 8 square is 64, right? We have to take only the positive value in dimensions, geometrical shapes. Only positive values are applicable. So r equals to 8 is our answer as a critical point. Now we have to prove that that gives you maximum volume of the cylinder. Now at times I have seen that students will just write r equals to 8 as their answer and then they think the question has been answered completely. But that is not the case. What we need to do here is we need to show that at 8 we indeed have maximum, correct? So how will you do that part? So that we can show by checking derivative that is dv over dr. So we will now check dv over dr here. So we say dv over dr and we have at 8 we know it is 0 here. But we will check at values less than 8 and greater than 8. So what you can do is you can plug in a test point let's say 7 less than 8 and 9 as greater than 8. So if I put 7 in my equation which is 3 pi 64 minus r square 7 squared is 49. 64 minus 49 will be positive, right? So I get positive here. So my rate of change is positive. But if I place in 9, then 64 minus 9 squared means 64 minus 81 is going to be negative. It's negative. You see, rate of change is changing from positive before 8 and then negative. So it gives you a maximum. Do you see that part? So that's a good representation. So indeed, the critical point represents a maximum. That is most important to understand, right? So what is the maximum volume of cylinder? So we are, the question still is not asking for the dimensions of cylinder, right? So we say, well, for maximum volume, we have radius equals to 8 and height is how much? To find height, we have this relation 192 divided by r minus r so we'll do that part so that is height equals to 192 divided by r is 8 for us 8 minus 8 it is equals to let's use calculator so we have 192 divided by 8 equals to 24 minus 8 so we have 16 right so, height is 16 for us. Now, we have the equation here, pi r square h. So, the volume will be equals to pi times r square, r is 8, 8 square times height, which is 16. And again, use calculator. So, we have 16 times 8 square is 64 times pi. And we get our answer as 1024 pi. So you can write 1024 pi since the question was also given like that. Let's write 1024 pi and the units will be centimeter cube, right? Now, since it was given in terms of pi, I'm preferring to write my answer like 1024 pi centimeter cube. I hope you understand how we did it. Let's kind of review it. So the question was to maximize volume and find the volume for given surface area of 384 pi centimeter square. So we applied the surface area formula for the given cylinder after defining our variables which are radius as r and h as height. Now we found a relation between radius and height using the given surface area and then substituted height with r in the formula pi r square h so we had volume in one variable that is radius. Then derivative with respect to radius for volume gave us a critical point. This critical point should be analyzed for maximum. Once you are sure that this is maximum, correct? then apply those values and get the maximum volume. Well, there could have been an alternate way also of doing it. That is, we could have found the boundary condition and then test it, the boundary conditions with this. Well, in this case, I'll prefer doing what I've done here, okay? I hope that helps.
Thank you.